I am Anishita Agar, PhD scholar of mass communication at Guru Jambeshwi University of Science and Technology, Hisar Haryana. Today we have Father Thomas Blessing, who is the priest of Delhi Catholic Archdiocese. He has studied Bachelor of Theology. Presently, Sir is appointed as an assistant priest at Kenhei. Church and Journal Youth Director. Let's welcome the sir for this research into whose topic was perception of religious iconographic contents on social media, a study on Haryana. Welcome, sir. And my first question to sir is, according to you, what are the factors responsible for social differences in society? The religious differences comes when there is no proper understanding of religion is there. If a person really studies about a religion, if a person gets accumulates knowledge and wisdom about a religion, goes more deeper into the understanding of a religion, that person will be a composed person who accepts every other religion, who wishes good for everyone. So as long as we have no understanding or we have no knowledge about the uh, religion or the, all the teachings of a religion or all the values that the religion holds, then surely there will be a lot of clash because of the misunderstanding. So that is the main factor. The main factor for a religious difference is lack of knowledge about that particular religion. Ask, what are your views regarding the social media? Uh, social media, regarding my views on social media. Social media, um, as such, is one of the best medium for a person to communicate with the other person. But when you misuse it, when we misuse it, that really harms the whole of humanity especially the younger generation who are under the clutches of the social media is being used to abuse this media. It is not that we, um, we are um, what you call making use of the media, but rather the media is right now making use of us, our time, our energy, and our thought process, our perception. Everything is being molded. But if we really use the media for real communication and understanding of other person or transmitting our knowledge and wisdom to the other person through that media, it is one of the best and ideal thing that can be that uh, ideal gift that a humanity can have social media as such. Next, I'm going to ask, what would you like to say about the religious content propagated on the social media? See now, um, these days, uh, you know, anything you project on behalf of uh, faith, you know, people uh, really become a prey to it. Like, you know, people fall into that trap actually. Like, So many of the religious leaders or many of these, uh, what I call fanatics, the religious fanatics, they make use of this medium to transmit false knowledge about the religion. You take any of the content that is coming into that uh, um, a social media, take uh, go for a deeper study about this one. You will just find the actual meaning that the religion says about that particular content is totally different from the way that uh, people have misinterpreted, misinterpreted these particular views and projected in the social media. And that really stimulates people to react rather than acting. You know, they react when people react to uh, something, it is for the bad and bad to worse. But a person who really acts on that is one will really build something for the humanity and for the society. In your point of view, how religious harm body, uh -huh. uh, how social media is responsible for religious differences? 
Uh, as, as I said, the half knowledge about a religion or half knowledge about anything is quite dangerous. Like, so only when, um, when for my selfish motives, when I project only the particular part which I want for the uh, public to know, when I post only that particular, then it becomes quite dangerous. You know, that, that brings social uh, religious differences among the people. Like, if you, for example, if you take it, when uh, one of the uh, political leader, leader gives a speech, when the media cuts a small part of it and when project it to the uh, public, project it in the social media, that public misunderstands it and takes it, you know, um, and goes behind it. Like they uh, come out uh, onto the road for violence and all. This is the same thing can be applied to the religious differences too. When you project from one uh, idea of yours, like for example, you know, you project a particular religion as like if you take Islam. We, we project Islam as uh, uh, terrorist goons, like, you know, wherever they are there, there is a lot of killings are there. But we do not project the good part of that also. You know, there is both good and bad in every religion, like, you know. So when you, for your, for my selfish party, I, I project only the bad part of a particular religion, then that goes into the mind of these people. And these people label uh, that particular religion as one of the worst religion in the world, like. So this is how the social media can uh, put it into the mind of these people. Like. So that is where the religious differences can be brought very easily through uh, social media. Next, sir, I would like to ask, in your point of view, how religious harmony can be brought in the society? See, basically the harmony can be brought about the religious issue is one is through education through education like you know um, educate the people as long as they are not educated they would believe anything that they uh, see or anything that they hear anything somebody comes out and says they would believe. secondly that you know the public should never depend upon the uh, what you call the, uh, the religious leaders like means the religious leaders are not god as such like you know religious leaders are also human this understanding every uh, human being uh, in the society should get it like so whenever um, a religious leader comes out and says that this is what the ultimate truth now don't go behind that go study for yourself study for yourself get to know the things what exactly the truth behind it whether what he's saying is right if he's saying is right accept it if he's not saying it is in the right way then do not accept it like don't project that person as a god do not project that person uh, what you call as who makes no it, we all are human beings even a religious leader even a baba who comes out is all human beings we all make mistakes so do not blindfoldly uh, what you will believe everybody you know so uh, first of all education secondly uh, study for yourself whatever you hear so whatever you hear whatever you see study for yourself get try to understand it in a wider way try to understand it in a wider way that is where we can bring more harmony religious harmony among our society in your opinion sir what masses can do through people's media that is social media to overcome the religious conflicts and bring harmony, um, bring harmony? basically uh, basically what masses can do through uh, people's media the social media to overcome the religious conflicts and uh, bring harmony. this is how i think uh, every uh, First of all, this can be started from every school, like I think. School is a place where, you know, considered to be a secular place, where uh, people, uh, children from every religion study together, and they are taught the whole, uh, you know, the whole world is brought before the children. That is where slowly, you know, you start putting into the minds of these uh, children about not uh, believing in the, the, what you call the religious beliefs and faiths and this one blindfoldedly right? rather than you know teach the children to be morally good that is the best thing and ideal thing that every child you know morally you should be the humanity should be lifted up in a vision no? so slowly put into the minds of these children so these children would go home and they would ask their parents they would put it in their parents and 
slowly the wide angle like you know and then in the school itself create small documentaries small short films put it in there let the children speak out let the children learn let the children speak out what is their views and put it in the social media and slowly you know we we if we all spread it in the social media and this religious fanatics and this so called religious leaders all the fake things that they put it can be countered with this small things starting from the children like and so that, and i think more of the youth also will be inspired when they see these children the schools can really uh, come up with doing something like that any anyway. start a small channel in the youtube and slowly put up a, a social this uh, on short films like you know a small drama small skits small um, nukkad and you no know, you put it in all, all in the uh, social media platform and make people aware about the fanatism and the fake things that is been put out in the social media and counter it with that what is the importance of icons and symbols relates to most of the religions or sects ah see so, you now every religion every religion has got uh, what will a particular symbols like you know every religion has got a, so every symbol has got a very deeper meaning like you know, a very deeper meaning it has got it projects a lot of meaning these symbols gives out like but what happens is you know people um, when uh, when you keep aside like you know um, cross for example like right? we christians we hold on to cross like right? you know when a hindu sees that cross uh, it's a cross keep it aside like i don't want to listen to you. i don't know it when you see on om it is there or stupa is there i just keep it aside because it's of the hindu side right? so when you when you uh, keep it all aside like when you keep it all you you are restricting you are like your own exposer like so you when you are exposed to the world so many things then you are able to know okay this is what this mean to be so it is not something bad it is something uh, give you, something it say something good like and oh 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 has got a very deeper meaning it is saying something good about it is something about the nature it is speaking like so something else so every religion has got in that way and it can be connected in that way like but when you close our doors of knowledge against it like you know we don't know so always we will label it all through our life we label it this is something very bad and uh, these people are doing this people so we keep all aside like and uh, we are filling ourselves with the darkness we are filling ourselves so we need to come out expose uh, come out to this expose and open ourselves to receive to know how the most more of wisdom in our life i think that is how some slowly we can come out in the zone like that is how the symbols of religion really works ask what are your views regarding the hidden things behind these religious conflicts ah uh, okay if i speak basically see you know the um if i speak very frankly uh, actually the religion is there to bring peace calm um, serenity and consolation to everybody is the basic agenda of uh, um a religion if you start uh, if i start saying to you about the beginning of a religion beginning of a religion is uh, you know how the gods came into this world because there were lot of natural calamities that was coming into the world like so the people could not know from where these things coming into like these natural calamities are coming and people never could stop it so they thought that uh, there is someone behind it who is causing these natural calamities and we need to please that particular so then slowly the, then uh, a group of people comes in uh, trying to please a particular god and they make norms for themselves and over the period over the years it um, what do you call them uh, it um, um, modulates itself or it uh, transform itself and uh, comes into an institutionalization like you know today we have got to, for every religion you take every religion has got a symbols every religion has got a uh, scripture every religion has got a set of rules every religion has got a set of beliefs you no know? so everything everything it is been uh, categorized like everything is there like you know everything um, everything is categorized so now when i use it to earn money like so this religion has always for the consolation of the and support of the people like when i am down 
when I, 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 everything is not going right in my life. You know, there is, um, religion comes to their rescue and says, you know, God sees your pain. Uh, there will be a good time for you too. Just keep trusting in him. Just keep praying to him like, tomorrow will be a, a, better for you. There is a, something better that is awaiting you like. So we are consoling that person, giving him hope to live on that. But uh, instead of this, if I am trying to make use of this religion for money, like if I go and say to that person, you come and pray into the church for nine days and nine days you put 100 rupees into the church that is i am making their uh, means of i am uh, what do you call, actually i am making use of that person to earn money like that is a very wrong thing that i'm doing so when in the social media when i want to take uh, what do you call revenge on somebody like i put up something a particular religion a person belonging to a particular religion i say this person was uh, you know blaspheming about our gods he was doing this one and people will go against that person like it. so if i need if i need money then i put it in the social media that you know if you people come to this particular place and pray and offer this much money these things are these things are going to get in your life you know so when i use for uh, such kind of uh, ads you know for earning something like for me and earning comfort and earning for money and earning uh, what you call taking a revenge so when I, I i i want these things like you know when I am, I, am, I am looking for these things, surely I will make use of this religion for the uh, what you call, bad or uh, what you call, for uh, bad of the uh, society as such. Like, you know? And this is how the social media is used. And right now, social media is the prominent platform where I can put out everything. Like, and I don't know how to, I don't know how to face the people. Like, so when I go in front of the people, when I am standing on a stage, I have to face 120 people. And there is a possibility that when I uh, put out an idea, when I put out an ideology, when I put out a perception, there may be questions are there. So instant questions might come in like, but in a social media, I can go and speak anything. Like I can go and speak anything and send it out and it reaches to the millions of people. And I don't know how to bother what questions is coming. And I don't know how to bother even to answer them at all. So there is no fear of facing the crowd. There is no fear of face, uh, what you call facing the question. So I can do anything on the social media platform as such. So this is why uh, this is where the um, the religion or the religious faith is used to uh, what you call utilize the people for the income for earning money or for uh, anything that is. Uh, my selfish motives are such like you know so that is where we are going wrong off track about the religion that is why every people now the younger generation is criticizing the religion and this is actually we ourselves you know we ourselves especially i would i would blame the religious leaders who are uh, using this religion for selfish motives they are the one who is dropping the value of the religion and the values of that religion is being tarnished and uh, gods are being you know used as such you know there is no respect for this one there is no fear of a god but rather it is being gods are being used to earn money like this is why what is wonderful answers to, for my research into whose topic was perception of religious iconographic contents on social media a study on haryana thank you sir thanks for your precious time for my interview thank you sir thank you thank you Good. All the best. Thank you so much.